for 12, I thought we had to um, write all, or like just to store thinking, uh, write all of these down um, and to get the person who sh we're showing it to understand what we're doing to get the number figure 12. So we started off at number one and we added two each time. And since we realized that every single time you had to add two to the both five figures, figures then um, we knew that we just had to add two to the number 12. And we counted like all of the squares in here. And so like for every single one, for like figure four, we noticed that there's four squares going that way, four squares going that way, and figure four. Then for figure seven, we noticed that there are seven squares going that way and seven squares going that way. It's a great observation. So then we thought since like the figure number was how many squares it's going down and to the across, then we just drew like 12 squares going down and 12 squares going vertically and horizontally. Good, so you were able to predict the pattern without having to draw figure 10, figure 11, yeah. and so on. Because of the plus one. Then down here, we already know that it's adding two, so they sort of just put it in line like that, and there's one more since it's 12 on there. And then we added them up yeah. to show that there's 23 square, squares in each in the figure 12. Good, okay, thank you.